Good morning ladies and gentlemen, Strat Gamer here, providing you with new Anno 1800 content today. And today we're going to talk about another mod. And indeed, this building just in front of me, you probably don't know it. This is a new building introduced by this mod and we're gonna see many others. So stay tuned for that. Before we dive in, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're into strategy games, city building games, simulations, this is exactly what I cover. So it says subscribe, so you never miss another video and you help support the channel. Okay, so today we're talking about the Metropolis Skyline mode by Fishboss. So let me be clear again, I have no credit to this mode. This is all done by Fishboss. I am putting the link to this mod in Nexus in the description below. Feel free to check it out, to download it, and also to offer your thanks and uh, support to the actual creator. So what is this mod? Well, this mod adds 11 new buildings, or at least visual for some buildings, but mostly new buildings. And it's not just pretty, it's gameplay changes. So these buildings will give you some bonuses, will give you things that you can do with them and not just um, be pretty in your city. And the last thing in this introduction is all of these buildings actually have real life inspiration. And when you download the mode, there is a file that shows you for each of these buildings what is the inspiration if you want to check out. Okay, so let's dive in. So we have several visuals for the police station. So this is sort of the classic visual, right? I mean, you can see if you shift V, you have this new visual here. Okay, then the second one is in the artisan tab. It is for the university. Once again, you have another visual. So you can see these two look different, especially with this tower here um, to observe the stars. And that's once again Shift V to shift. So that is the beginning. The first two buildings are, are not new buildings, just visual iteration. But now we do have new buildings. The first two. Um, in the readme files say to, that are um, activated at 1000 in artisan to be honest I haven't checked that if that is true um, but they are at least available in my um, game through where I have obviously a lot more than um, 1000 artisan the first one is the main fire station and I built it there but let's rebuild to show you so you click here in artisan as you can see here, I have um, elevation, it's not flat. I can go here, here it's fa flat, yeah. So you see it. And it works like a real fire station, it even gets the bonuses. The range is longer though. Um, I won't show it to you in this video, you can test it easily. But believe me, it is true. And then second is a big church, basically, the garrison church. Similarly, you can see that here, uh, there's a lot of elevation. But if you put it here, you see a lot less elevation. And what's interesting with this building is there's different phases. When you build it, actually already get to phase two uh, with uh, this cost here. You can see 100,000. Uh, money and a bit of everything and you can start it with a bit more different elements and I think here I already did it yeah so let's see when you finish it you get to the last phase to get um, particular quite a bit of windows and again half an hour I won't make you wait of course we'll um, jump to that point later as you can see it's now in construction already quite nice and while it's building let's look at the rest so then the next one is at 10,000 investors 
So now let's move to the investor tab. And you find it inside the palace. Now, so that's important because it took me a while to find it. So inside the palace, you have your palace building and you have now this palace of justice. And this is what you see here. Uh, let me just build one more so you don't call me a liar. But yeah, this is what you see here. And once again, there's different phases. The difference is that this phase is actually, at least here, don't really require anything, um, including time. So I'm not sure if it's a bug on my side or not. You can see this is this building here, quite pretty. There's even some, um, some uh, citizens, uh, kids walk, walking around. We there was some comment on Nexus around the fact that it's missing a bit, you know, flowers and small items on it, and the creator said that he is on it. So um, we may see that coming in the future. See, like quite a nice door here. So that is the Palace of Justice. And you can select a department, so that's interesting. It's sort of a, another department, but a big one. And it does bring quite a bit of um, attractiveness also, I think. Okay, in the meantime, let's check our garrison church, which is finished. And here are the final results, ladies and gents. Similar to the other buildings, there is missing a bit of ornaments on the floor, but the building itself is beautiful. A great addition. To unlock the six remaining, we need to go to our world fair. Remember to have electricity, remember to have some warehouse in range to deliver the good. Then go to architectural marvels, and importantly, you need to select sumptuous to the highest level, and you need to actually also go to the highest level, so the world fair annex. We need to deliver all of it. So, small tip um, when you launch it, just check what you have. So, here you can see uh, all of it, a lot of it, a lot of it, a lot of it, a lot. And this one, that, for example, I don't have a lot of it. There you have two options. I mean, for this one, for example, for just a few minutes, I can stop giving it to them. Um, or you can also use, if you have the latest DLC, you can use export import to just quickly get a few of what you're missing. Um, so let's say, for example, uh, you said we're missing a bit of champagne. I don't remember where the champagne is, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. See that's plenty enough. It's arriving in 20 minutes and you have 40 minutes to deliver. So that would be enough. See, I mean I already used one minute but um, I started with 40. Another small tip is you don't have to wait for 40 minutes. So as, as soon as you have delivered all of it, you'll get to 800 and the timer will stop. It will not go to 40 minutes. Um, usually, for example, for me, around 30, 28 minutes, um, I deliver it all. And you then move into the actual exhibition, which takes 10 minutes. And then you can find out which one you have won. And again, don't remember to select the last one, the World Fair Annex. Now we'll show you just a few. Um, that's a screenshot of when uh, I got all these elements. And that is when I got the final building. I was missing the city hall. Now we can see that I have all of them unlocked here. Six new buildings. 
the administration of seafaring, the urban museum, the city hall, the monumental opera, tax office monument, and the monarch cathedral. And as you can see, it took me a few tries. Uh, what is it? 9, 10, 19 tries, to be exact, to get all six of them. I will bore you with all the phases of each building, but as you can see, most of them take um, a few stages. And what's great is that you can really see them being in construction like this one. Um, so once again, remember that they are here in the luxurious. Find them here. Do not hesitate to ask me if you want in the comment below for the actual cost of them all. You can see it's fairly expensive, but for end game, um, you should be able to do it. And now let's start improving them and discussing their actual bonuses because, once again, they do provide actual gameplay bonuses. Okay, so this is the first one, the administration of seafaring. Ah, the annual guy love it. This is the first one. Nice fountain there. So what does it do? Well, it's plus 50% for port activity, plus 50% loading speed, and 10% attractiveness on all port buildings. So great stuff now the second one we have here is the urban museum and this one actually doesn't have any stages as soon as you build it it will be built and this one provides interesting bonuses it gives you the set buffs of origin of mankind new world yuka lost tribes Heirlooms of the Gold Realm and Gods of the Delta without having to own those sets. Um, so what does that mean? Well, in this whole island, for example, I don't have uh, the Lost Tribes set. But if I go to any of my best uh, houses, um, I can actually see it here. So there's a small bug where it says Heirloom of the Gold Realm. But if you look at the uh, reduced needs 5% for sewing machine, canned food and coffee. This is actually the lost tribe effect. So it is working but with a small text bug. Now let's move to the third one, the city hall. The one that took me a very long time to get. And here it is. And as you can see you can put three items but what's interesting about it is that it co actually covers, and it's just a sort of town hall, right? It's uh, not trade union, you know, it's town hall items. Um, but it covers the whole island. So you just need one and it will do it for your whole island. Okay, now next one, the monumental opera. Oh, there's actually four phases, so we're going to need to come back to this one. And for the last phase, in gold, light bulbs, and felt. Okay, ladies and gents, let's move to our th last three buildings. The opera is finalized. And let's see how it looks. Oh, it's nicer from this side, if I'm honest. You can see again that there's some... Um, Elevation going on. If you put it on something flat, here yeah. should look a bit better. Let's visit in first person mode. <laughs> See if we can actually. I don't think we'll be able to enter. Oh, maybe there. Let's see. Oh, no. Nah. The statues there. Okay, enough of that. The opera is basically a theater uh, which provides plus three happiness for population for your population. I think all tiers. 
And now, the last two. First one, very, quite big. The tax office. Again, I can see sort of a lack of small ornaments at the bottom. But the building itself, quite beautiful. And what does it do? It is a large bank in a sense, which will give you more attractiveness for all of your banks and plus 5% productivity I think on most buildings. At least that's what the readme file says. And you can see for example his mine here is getting it. And then lastly, a monarch cathedral. cathedral. And you can hear the bells. Very pretty again. So nice. Can't go inside. And what does it do? Well, it is a church, uh, but on top of that, also provide happiness and consumption. So plus three happiness, minus three consumption for pretty much everything, it seems. So it is, ladies and gents, all six, all eleven buildings, the police station, the university main fire station which is a huge fire station the garrison church with a big church the palace of justice which is sort of a department a big department and then through your sumptuous architectural exhibitions you have six new ones the monumental opera the tax office monument the monarch cathedral the urban museum the administration of seafaring and the city hall so lot, a lot of very nice buildings, big buildings. Congratulations to you, Fish Boss, again. As I said, um, he is apparently working on an update, in particular with some ornaments, uh, small ornaments to add to the citizen walking around. But this is already a great thing. Hope you like this video. Don't hesitate to leave any comments, questions below, um, or requests for a future video.